Good morning, everyone. This morning, once again, it's a fairly cloudy, murky start to the day. Beautiful weather watchers picture here from Denbyshire shows that there is a little bit of sunshine in the forecast. But first thing this morning, if you're traveling, there's also some dense fog across parts of the Midlands, the East Anglia, also into Northern England, Northern Ireland and South West Scotland. So poor visibility take it nice and easy and these are just some of the places I've mentioned. High pressure is still very much with us but we also have a weather front coming in across the northwest of Scotland that's introducing some patchy rain and it will be breezier here later on in the day as well. So first thing this morning a lot of cloud. It's very similar to yesterday actually. Low cloud, dankness, a grey day, some drizzle and we've got this patchy light rain coming in across the northwest where we've got blustery winds Across the northeast of Scotland, though, in northeast England, we do have some sunshine and temperatures around about 9 to 11 degrees. Now, as we head on through the evening and overnight, that weather front sinks south across Scotland, getting into southern Scotland, northern England and northern Ireland. Still a lot of cloud around, still some mist and fog as well. And through the course of tomorrow, what you'll find is this weather front will start to retreat northward. So tomorrow is also going to be another grey day, a cloudy one with some mist and fog, some drizzle. You get the picture with the rain pushing northwards across Scotland. It's not really until we get out of Friday and into Saturday and our high pressure ekes away to the near continent that things change. We also have a weather front coming in across the northwest and a look at those isobars tells you the wind will strengthen through the day. So although on Saturday it's going to be fairly cloudy, it's going to be higher cloud than we currently have. So it will be brighter. Plus, the wind will break some holes in that cloud. So some of us will see sunshine. And we still do have our weather front coming in across the northwest of Scotland. That's going to introduce some rain preceded by showers with a strengthening wind. And as for Sunday, well, that weather front continues to trundle steadily southeastwards during the course of Sunday. Behind it, we see a return to sunshine and showers. Some of those will be wintry in the hills because it's going to turn cooler. But at least there is some sunshine in the forecast somewhere this weekend. Now getting Charlie. Oh, that is the forecast. Right, indeed. Yes, Storm Gloria, you're right, Naga. Good morning, everybody. Storm Gloria has brought some torrential rain and flooding to the Balearics. Huge waves, strong winds, and now it's moving, as Charlie rightly said, across parts of Spain and France, and things are improving across the Balearics. But I want to show you some pictures. This is the River Odd in South France. It's broken its banks. Some parts have had as much as a foot of rainfall, so it's not really surprising that there's been flooding. Now, we're also looking at a huge amount of snow across parts of places like Alicante, Murcia, places you may even have visited on holiday. And we haven't seen levels like this since the 1980s. Still, we've got red flood warnings across parts of southern France and north Spain today and also avalanche warnings. So something to be aware of. But you can see Storm Gloria here in the pressure chart. She's going to be taking her inclement heavy weather across parts of central and eastern France today with strong winds, again some snow places and some heavy rain. Whereas we have got high pressure across our shores and also a weather front coming in from the northwest that's going to introduce some rain. Now, the weather today for us is very similar to what we had yesterday. There's a lot of low cloud around, some murk, some sunshine for a favoured few. But there's also some dense fog around this morning. So if you're travelling, bear that in mind. Areas such as the Midlands, East Anglia, Northern England, Northern Ireland and South West Scotland, especially where visibility is poor. But there is a lot of cloud generally. Now, the best of any sunshine today is going to be northeast Scotland and also northeast England. Here's a weather front coming in across the northwest, introducing thicker cloud and also some patchy rain. It'd be breezier here as well. Temperature wise, yesterday near Aberdeen in Aboyne, we hit almost 15 degrees. Today is more likely to be 10. These temperatures roughly where they should be at this stage in January. Now, through this evening and overnight, we hang on to a lot of cloud, still those drizzly, murky, dank conditions, some mist and fog forming where we've got some breaks in that cloud. A weather front sinks across Scotland into southern Scotland, northern England and northern Ireland. But it's not going to continue south because tomorrow that weather front's going to pivot and it's going to retreat northwards. And tomorrow, very much like today, it's going to be cloudy and grey and damp with that patchy rain moving northwards across Scotland. So what's happening this weekend? Well, Friday into Saturday, there goes our high pressure that's been so dominant, moving off towards the southeast, allowing weather fronts to come in from the Atlantic, bringing in rain, and the wind is also going to pick up as well. So a cloudy day on Saturday, but a 
different kind of day because this will be higher cloud so it's not going to be so oppressive as the low cloud we currently have we'll see more holes develop in it as well so more of us will see some sunshine a few showers are knocking around and we've also got our weather front coming in across the northwest with its strengthening winds so during the course of saturday into sunday that same said weather front sinks steadily southeastwards now by the time it gets into the southeast on sunday won't be particularly heavy rain on it. There it goes, moving towards the southeast. Behind sunshine, bright spells and showers. Wintry on the hills because it is going to turn that bit cooler. But just before I go, it's worth mentioning that by the time we get to the first part of next week, we ourselves could be in for some stormy conditions with strong winds and some heavy rain, and it's going to turn colder. But that temperature will be flip-flopping through the course of next week. Now again, Charlie. Carol, thanks so much. Carol, have you heard that... Uh... No, that takes me back to my student days. I used to have a pair of corduroy dungarees. Were you saying Sorry. it's old-fashioned, Carol? <laughs> Naga, the things you say to well, me. No, it's I'm, not, just it's getting, I'm just trying to... Maybe not that's corduroy suit, but they do say that if you maybe keep not. something long enough, it does come back into fashion. Well, there you go. See, that's what you wanted to say. That's so, 